Hey Bob, so it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a second go around with a company that I already did a recent video for. And this here is by the company, and I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. If not, please excuse me, but I think it's pronounced Kayla Hair. If not, I will definitely post all the information below. But they did send me like the Jerry Curl pattern hair, and I think it was three bundles and a frontal. I'll post all the links and the bundle links below. Prior to me showing you guys this, I did pre tweeze the hair line and funny thing I had to actually take it apart and sew it back together on a new cap because I actually made it too small so I had to redo it frontals can sometimes be a little bit tricky so I am still getting used to them and not getting used to them I think it all depends on how you lay the frontal on the unit and pull it down off the cap so keep that in mind when you're making one there are a lot of tutorials on how to do them but sometimes that can still get a little bit tricky so I did put it on a um, a mesh spandex dome cap. I did sew in an elastic band and then I did put one comb in the nape. I meant to put another one but I forgot. I totally forgot but it is what it is. I also did put a little bit of highlighting in it. So the hair is really full. I didn't use all the bundles because it would have been over full like too 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 big. So I decided to use only a little bit of the bundles. I also did bleach the knots in this um, frontal just to make it look a little bit more natural. Like I said, I also did pre-tweeze it because I didn't want it too thick around the hairline. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this popping and see how this turns out. All the products that I use will hopefully, if I remember, will be listed below. But I am going to be using some salon selectors from the Dollar Tree, which is my styling mousse. And of course, one of my new, well not, not new, but my favorite hairsprays, which is the Pump It Up. And this is the Super Hole. This is great for laying your hair down. You don't have to use any gel or glue or tape. This is great if you just want to take it off at the end of the day or keep it on for two days depending on how you wrap it up at night, but it actually does hold. So you guys, get your styling mousse out. If you want to spend more than a dollar, you can definitely do that, but the one from a dollar tree works amazing. Get you some super hole, pump it up. Get you a barrel curler because this is what we're going to be using just to make the hair lay down a little bit flatter. So let's get it popping. We're going to go ahead and use them in because I love these bob stripes, sweet bobs. These are like my favorite. They're my addiction. My addiction. Okay, like I love these things. I buy them by the bin full, okay? Also, keep in mind that pre tweezing your hairline is so tricky. You can over pluck. And I think I kind of like scalped it right here a little bit. So, okay. There's a little bit of baldy patch, so yeah. All right, love. So the first thing we're gonna do for this wig that I made is we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace. I just want to make sure that it fits properly over my ears, so that way it's comfortable and I'm not struggling with it and it's not slipping back. So I'm gonna take one of those duck clips and I'm just gonna cut off excess lace, as you guys see. It is, I know, it's excess hair, but listen, we do need to customize these lace frontals, whether we make them or we buy them. They do need to be customized, so you will need to cut off a little bit of extra hair, so that way they fit properly. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this lace wig onto my hairline. Um, I did pre-pluck it, as you guys seen, and I went ham on this wig. You know what? I hate when I'm watching a television show. I know it was The Walking Dead, the last episode of season eight, and this is what happens. Like, I pre-tweezed it so much that I got a balding spot. Never watch a good TV show when you're pre-plucking your hairline on your wigs because if you do, this is the outcome. Plus, with curly hair, you really need to section it off, and so that's what I actually basically do. Now it's time for some baby hers because, listen, I just want a little bit. I know, guys, I'm not a huge fan of baby hairs. Like, I'm really not, but, you know, this is kind of like the best way sometimes to camouflage the lace hairline or the lace on the unit so that way no one sees it. Now listen, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of anybody's baby hairs, but it does help camouflage. As long as you don't get carried away, then you should be good to go. I just use an eyebrow squeezer or trimmer just to go ahead and trim the baby hairs. You can also use a razor comb. I wouldn't really suggest so much as a scissor because you get a blunt, even cut. And you guys already know how I feel about this Dollar Tree hair mousse. I love this stuff. It's um, on the threshold of one through five. It it's the number four scale, so it's extreme firm hold. It does not flake up, and it actually really does hold. 
honestly, I wore my wig, not this one, but my curly one from Best Lace Wigs for exactly five days straight in New York just recently. And all I used was my Dollar Tree hair mousse and my Pump It Up hairspray. Now, let me stop lying. I didn't use my Dollar Tree hair mousse because I had to buy a travel size. So I actually used the Tresemme travel size um, from Extreme Hold. So it's also the number four. So they're basically the same. But in my opinion, I think the Dollar Tree one is much better than the Tresemme. But I had to buy a travel size because, you know, I was going to plan. So I actually wore my wig like this for a week straight. All I did was, as you guys seen, is put some hair mousse down, okay? And then I just, you know, tweaked those baby hairs. And I also did put it into the hairline of the wig. So it just wasn't on the baby hairs. It was a little bit onto kind of like the hairline of the base of the wig. And then um, once I sculpted the wig the baby hairs down and I also, you know, kind of like laid a little bit of the front of the hair down of the wig, I then went ahead with my Pump It Up hairspray, which is the Super Hold. And I went ahead and kind of like switched that on there and laid it down also. But my wig stayed on for five days straight, you guys, without it being removed. Of course, I did add just a little bit daily onto the wig. But when I say a little bit, I mean just a tad bit. And it was on hold for five days. I did use the scarf that I'm going to be showing you guys in a minute to sleep in. But yes, as you guys know, um, I don't really be caring for the glue or the tape. So if you guys are going to try this method out, I would highly suggest get yourself like a nice silk scarf, some hair clips, and honey, you would be good to go. That was the Pump It Up hairspray and a good sculpting brush. Now you guys know, I do call that green toothbrush my sculpting brush. It makes its appearance in mostly every video. And here it goes. This is the scarf that I wore for a week. I wore this at night. But this is how I lay it down in the beginning. When I first apply the unit, I'll put a little bit of heat onto the unit so that way it dries the hair down. So as you guys see right there in the front, where um, it's just a little bit flatter, that is from the heat. And it, see, it's tight. It's held down. It's not going anywhere. This is what I'm talking about with mousse and hairspray. You don't need a bunch of stuff. So yes, you guys, this is how I laid my wig down for a week. I actually do like the hair. It's very soft and it's nice. And, you know, for the price, you can't go wrong with it. I would highly suggest checking them out. All right, guys. So this is the outcome of the hair. I did style it with the mousse and the hairspray, and it is not going anywhere. You do want to use a silk head scarf, and when you're taking it off, you want to pull it down, not pull it up, because you don't want to disturb any of the hairs that are laying onto your hairline, so you want to pull it downwards when you're removing it. Um, after you put heat to it. Let it sit for like five minutes afterwards and then you're good. You can also use a blow dryer too. Um, either one, it's up to you, it's your preference. For me to be bleaching the knots on this unit, it came out pretty decent, okay? Um, the only issue I had was right here. And normally I will part it, but I got a little bit carried away right here. I wasn't paying attention, which was unfortunate. You can still wear it like this. It's still wearable. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't get rid of it. Um, but the hair texture is great. It's very curly and pretty and long. I think it was like 22, 22, 20 and 16 inch closure, a frontal, excuse me. But, um, the bleaching, I did use like 40 developer on the knot just to bleach it and it came out really good. I will say yes, hunties, what? Let me just get a little bit closer. Versus the the little ball patch that I put in there. I hate when I do that. It seems like when I get curly hair, that's when I kind of like slip up because it's bushy and this has happened to me before on another curly unit. So you want to be careful when you are doing like bleaching, or excuse me, pre-tweezing a uh, frontal when it's curly hair because the hair is bushy. I always take it in sections, but I really wasn't paying attention. For the most part, the hair came out nice. The highlights that I put in are fantabulous. I used um, 
40 developer as well on the hair. I just sectioned it off and just put it in little bits of pieces and also on the ends because I had made so much of the mixture I didn't want it to go to waste. So I decided just to put it on the ends too. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out their website below. This is the second go round. They do have some nice quality hair so I do give them that. All of the info will be posted for you guys below. Make sure you check my Instagram out for some photo pics of me wearing this gorgeous hair. I hope the black backdrop was not disturbing and you can still see the hair. On that note, stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the soon to come video.